The Charlottesville Methodist Primary School will now have improved electricity connection with a sustainable approach. This is a result of the installation of a 15 kilowatts solar PV system on the school's compound. On Friday, the Ministry of Public Utilities hosted the event of such. The Charlottesville Methodist Primary School in Tobago experienced electricity interruptions, which impacted the daily functioning of the school. Discussions began with the Tobago House of Assembly and the Ministry of Public Utilities for a solution, giving birth to the installation of the new solar PV system. Minister of Public Utilities Marvin Gonzalez shared the solar system projects such as these should be encouraged to allow for economic strides for the government. That if we spread this initiatives all over this country, it means then that TNTech will no longer have to generate and depend on NGC for billions of dollars in gas that we can now have at our disposal, that we can now use to build more schools and to build more roads and to build more hospitals and to improve the living circumstances of the people of Trinidad and Tobago. Minister Gonzalez noted with Tobago's electricity needs increasing as a result of development, Tobago should please focus on renewable energy projects. As we look towards getting an additional 20 megawatts of power for development on this island, that you have an opportunity as we are doing here in Charlottesville to look at renewables in a very serious way where at least 10 megawatts or 15 megawatts of that power can come from solar can come from wind. Minister Ayanna Webster Roy reminded the students that the system highlights their commitment to supporting Tobago's young people. What we are doing today, it reinforces your importance to the government of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago and your importance to the leaders in Tobago and in Trinidad. It reaffirms our commitment to your development. We believe that you are our most valuable assets, and we are placing our trust in you to ensure that you make full use of the opportunities that are going to come because of this opportunity to have light constantly in your facility. Chief Secretary Farley Augustine commended all parties involved for selecting a sustainable and environmentally friendly approach to electricity for the school. He expressed with this new system, the entire community will benefit. In this instance, we have our children benefiting. Uh, you are able to now have classes well into the evening with or without a traditional source of electricity. We can easily have uh, the extra classes for the adults in the night here with or without traditional electricity. The heritage group and those in the cultural art forms that use the school from time to time to, for rehearsals, you are no longer hamstrung by, by whether or not we have access to traditional electricity. Unipet was contracted to execute the project. Six technicians and students were trained in the maintenance of the system. Carissa Douglas, TTT News.